Good morning, everybody. Today, we're gonna do a little bit of a day in the life vlog because I enjoy filming these. I like showing you a bit of my actual life away from my studio. Um, I started my day by having a shower and I washed my hair, which was definitely a little bit overdue. And soon I'm gonna dry my hair and all that kind of thing, get ready for the day making myself feel a little bit more human than usual today because <laughs> I feel like I feel a lot more motivated when I feel a little bit good about myself. So I've just put my moisturiser on which is my Esper Optimal Skin Pro Moisturiser which I highly recommend. <laughs> but for now, let's go sort my hair out. <laughs> Just like that, I look a little bit <laughs> more human. I'm just waiting for my kettle to boil, which has just gone off because I'm about to make myself a quick peppermint tea before I go and settle down in my office to conquer some emails. I normally do them on a Monday, but this week's been a little bit higgledy-piggledy. I've been filming on days that I don't normally film on, trying to get ahead of things. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna grab a tea and let's go to my office. <laughs> Just like that, I have a peaceful mind because my inboxes are cleared. There is nothing more satisfying than having all of your emails nicely organized into neat little folders and different categories. It's that kind of stuff that absolutely thrills me. Um, I thought I would show you a few little bits that I actually have here in my office because I know it's September, guys, I know. But <laughs> I've started kind of like, I don't want to use the word hoarding, but I started collecting things for Christmas season. So this is something that I buy and treat myself to every single year from M&S. They've already got their Christmas range out. This is the original Very Merry Munch tin and it's so cute. It's a mix of milk and white chocolate popcorn, salted and dark chocolate pretzels, milk chocolate peanuts and caramel almonds. And when I say, this is just the most perfect Christmas snack when you're watching Christmas movies all snuggly. I'm very, very excited about it. They did also have a different one this year, which is brand new, which was kind of like jelly beans and sweets mixed up in this kind of thing. So depends if you're more a chocolatey person or a sweets person. I thought it was pretty cool that they had one for everybody. I did also pick up, you know Terry's Chocolate Orange, like the orange segment chocolate? It's a classic here in England. I don't know if it's like a worldwide Christmas classic, but here it's a classic. They have come out with a Terry's Chocolate Mint. And I really like mint chocolate, um, so I had to snag one of these. I did also pick up from B&M this Christmas mug. I was with my other half at the time and he was like, are you gonna stick to your mug, one mug in and one mug out rule? I was like, no, 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 sweetie. That does not apply to Christmas because this will be going into the Christmas storage in the garage. I found a loophole <laughs> when it comes to Christmas mugs and I'm not sorry about it. The other thing I got, uh, I didn't actually buy this for me. I bought this for my boyfriend because um, the last year, these sold out so quickly. Like, look how big this is. This, this is a giant chocolate Tony's advent calendar. Look, it's just massive. And I introduced this chocolate to my other half and he loves it. He was like, mm, I'm not sure I'm gonna like the chocolate. He loves it, it's now one of his favorites. And he is like the most chocolate obsessed man that I've ever met in my entire life. So yes, I've bought him a calendar I know that he will love. He's already seen this, it's not gonna be a surprise. Now I just need to sort out what chocolate advent calendar I want this year and I have no idea. I normally go for like the Kinder Bueno ones. Anyway, that is enough about the little bits and bobs that are sat in my office. 
Next on my to-do list today is actually getting some thumbnails done. These take up so much time, more than you think. I pride myself on my video thumbnails and yeah, sometimes I will do like a video thumbnail day where I get loads done. Um, it's a weird time at the moment because we are prepping for a pretty big series in November. <laughs> you guys know that it's going to be my advent series, you just don't know how big it's going to be yet. So I have my thumbnails for my current videos, the ones that are going out weekly, but I'm also trying to keep on top of my thumbnails for that series, which we're trying to prep really far in advance. Like we've been working on this series since August now, like I'm very excited about it, but it has absolutely doubled my workload over the past few weeks, maybe longer, but not complaining. It's good to be busy. Cannot complain when we're busy. I just had a knock at my door and it's Wednesday, which for me is Gusto day. I get two meals from Gusto a week for me and my other half. So I'm gonna go put those in the fridge, not sponsored, just big customer. <laughs> um, and I also got a magic delivered, which is very excited. These are one of my channel sponsors. So I have to go put this up into my studio because I'm not allowed to look inside until we film it. So let's go take this upstairs. I'm not gonna lie guys, <laughs> it's a bit of a hot mess in here at the moment. I filmed yesterday, I also did a candle photo. Let me show you what we're dealing with. I'm ashamed right now. <laughs> it looks a lot worse than it is. Um, this was a little photo shoot that I was doing yesterday for my candle that is being released probably tomorrow as you're watching this, the 1st of October at 6 p.m. Um, so I was doing a little photo shoot, trying to make it a little bit autumnal with these. So these were my props and I've got some moss here. I've got some green moss there. There's a can of Japanese Coca-Cola because yesterday I filmed a Tokyo treat. This is the remaining snacks over here. I'm trying not to show you too much over here, but this is my pile of um, things that I need to shoot for November. I'm a little bit overwhelmed with that, but, um, oh, right. Let's tidy this place. Goodbye, mess. Hello, clean studio. Oh, that is so much better. But as today isn't a filming day, I am gonna close the door on that room, which I love being able to do. Um, I remember when I used to live at my mum and dad's, I used to, eat, sleep, drink, work, um, all everything in one singular room and I wasn't able to shut off, I wasn't able to shut work away. So I have a lot more healthy boundaries living here and having that separate space for a studio and an office. I know I'm very fortunate to have those spaces but it makes a hell of a difference, let me tell you. Also, I've just realized I've not shown you my spooky decor. I have actually fully decorated for Halloween now. All my pumpkins are out and all my spooky cushions. Let me give you the guided tour. Um, these are my favorite pumpkins. They're like resin or ceramic and they're so cute. Um, I kind of put dot candles between them, but yeah, I've been really enjoying this this week. I've nearly finished this candle that I bought last year called Scarlet Pumpkin. I got it from HomeSense, but I don't think you see. Take the lid off. I've nearly finished it, but it's lasted me two Octobers, so that's pretty cool. So that's my little pumpkin display by my log burner. I do have a few little spooky pieces on here. I have a little ceramic ghosty behind my magnifying glass. I don't know why, I just thought that was so cute to have him kind of peeking behind there. This ghosty is new from Flying Tiger and if you turn him on at the bottom, how cute is that? Adorable. I've got this little glass blown pumpkin that I bought from Punny Dukes a year or two ago. Not only that, finally got my spooky cushions. Um, I've got a ghosty, this little jack-o'-lantern and my favourite bat that we've named Brian, of course. <laughs> I'm in the car. Oh my god, it's the first time I've put a scarf on 
this season it feels so watery outside i'm really happy um i'm popping out now my garden has just been so my lawn is looking snatched um <laughs> but i'm just popping into town because i i just want a bit of a fancy lunch i always do this also my friend katie is currently working in punny dukes um so i am going to pop in and say hello to her because i don't see her very often yeah i cannot wait so i'm gonna go get a feast uh the clouds look a little bit ominous i'm not gonna lie so i better get a wiggle on also i'm utterly obsessed with this song by Ash Nico called Dying Star. It is my utter anthem this week. I have reached the car park of Marks and Spencers. I'm gonna pop in and get my lunch, but also maybe get some spooky treats for Katie, because I love my friends. Right, I'm out in the world. I have officially got my lunch. <laughs> got a nice little wrap, and I got Katie some spooky treats, got her a chocolate frog which is called hocus crocus genius if i do say so myself yeah i'm just walking over to punny dukes right now there's a pretty river so beautiful hello <laughs> casey has just informed me that she's been busy <laughs> illustrating little frogs on the window which is very cute I like a little ghost as well <laughs> I have a slight problem when I come into Pony Dukes that I have to buy things. Um, one of my favourite jewellers, um, Samurai Jewellery, has quite a lot of her collection in here. I've just bought myself a beautiful onyx ring, which I'll show you later. And I've also bought one of these in hopes that it fits my boyfriend's finger as a little gift. This candle smells amazing and it's also by the Updown Cauldron Company who I am doing my own candle and launching it tomorrow. Um, this one smells incredible. Just a flying visit and of course it's now chucking down with rain now that I'm leaving and I don't have an umbrella with me. <laughs> Which is not good, I'll show you what I got when I get home. I'm telling you, any day that I actually bother doing my hair, it rains. <laughs> also, I feel like I've been sabotaged because it looks so autumn-y, but it's actually really hot. It looks miserable outside. <laughs> but, oh, I, I had sweat dripping down my back. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go home, <laughs> gonna cool down, I'm gonna maybe sort my hair out, have lunch, and then um, I'll show you what I got from Pony Juice. But yeah, it's just a quick flying visit. Um, I didn't stay in there too long. I've got my little haul from Pony Dukes. I didn't buy too much. Um, I was very restrained. <laughs> I bought, oh my God, it's glorious. This is a ceramic incense holder. It's got the lunar cycle on there. Uh, love moons um yeah there's a little hole in the end where you put your incense and it catches all of the ash and i just thought yes that's a little bit of me so that was 12 pounds you may have already seen but i bought <laughs> some more samurai jewelry like i am utterly obsessed but i bought two rings nobody get ahead of themselves they're just rings there's no meaning um i've bought myself an onyx ring which is set in silver and it's so beautiful like hello beautiful and then i did buy one for my boyfriend which is like this hand forged silver band and i do believe it's the right size i guess i'll find out later when he gets home and i hope he likes it <laughs> so that's my little haul and now i have to go and review a video that's going out tomorrow also need to go put my bin out up the road thrilling i know very exciting but yeah just sat here it's actually quite chilly in the house which is weird because when i was out <laughs> i was a little bit too hot speaking of going out i went to the best garden center of my life a few days ago we went to somewhere called garden king it's in a place called swaddlin coat i think i'll link it down below but i'm in a plant facebook group i know i'm really old <laughs> and um i saw people posting about these really good prices for indoor plants and i was like that looks amazing so i was like we just decided to go there spontaneously the other day and oh my god it exceeded 
all expectations. The amount of indoor plants and variety they have was exceptional. The prices were amazing. All of their orchids were like discounted from £25 to £5 each. And I was like, I want to buy all of the orchids. I didn't, but I did come away with a massive plant for our bedroom, which I will show you. Oh my God, it's a rubber plant. It's so big. This was reduced. I don't actually know its original price, but it was £40. And it's huge. Look at its leaves. Oh, it's so cute. Um, I do actually want to clean the leaves because they've got this kind of watermark all over it and I feel like it needs a little bit of TLC this plant. I also need to get a decorative pot for it. Um, I can't water it until I've done that so that's going to be this weekend's job because it's on carpet and <laughs> I cannot have soil and water leak through but yes oh my god it's beautiful it's got loads of new growth already and I'm just we're absolutely thrilled with the size of it I think it's fantastic for the price. And whilst I'm talking about things that I've recently bought that happens to also be in this room, I became a Kindle girly. Um, please excuse the sun. I cannot be bothered to get up and close the curtains. I ordered a agave green Kindle <laughs> like a month ago, maybe five weeks ago now. And it got to the delivery day and I was like, it's not dispatched yet. And I was just like, I just knew I just knew that they were going to delay it, um, so I cancelled it and I got really kind of aggy with Amazon. Uh, I was just like, I don't want it anymore! <laughs> but then I realised that they had the black ones in stock in Argos for Collect the Same Day and I was just like, you know what, yes, I feel like I will prioritise having a Kindle over what colour it is. <laughs> so yes, I did get a black signature edition of the Kindle Paperwhite. These are 6.8 inches. I did do the whole Kindle girly thing of buying a clear case and this is a pop socket. I actually, you can take this off, it's mag safe. I think this is so cool because I bought a normal pop socket and I was like, wait, this is wireless charging, the new Kindle. So I was like, I'm not gonna be able to do that. So I found a MagSafe sticker, um, this little metallic MagSafe sticker that you can, you can buy these on Amazon. I'll link them down below. And then a MagSafe pop socket so you can, and oh my God, it does not come off. Like it does not come off. I've not once gone, oh my God, my pop sockets come off. No, this will only come off <laughs> if you really pull it off and I tend to swap these between my Kindle and don't know if I just showed my lock screen. I'll have to blur that if I have, but um, and my phone. <laughs> Everyone's like, watch your lock screen. It's just my partner and I being cute. But yes, I always have a pop socket. I haven't had a pop socket for years because I always wanted to use the MagSafe chargers, didn't want to keep taking my case off. So this MagSafe pop socket has become an absolute game changer. So if you're a Kindle girly um, or you've got a phone that has a MagSafe case and you didn't know these existed, you're welcome. I'll link it down below. I mean, look, like, it's just so beautiful. I love how these work and I love that you can read them at night and the new ones um, have a warmth a warmth that you can customise how warm you want your pages, which is really lovely. I did actually used to have a Kindle. I gave my old one to my partner and we have Kindle Club. Uh, how cute are we? Kindle Club with a K. Couple goals, just saying. So yes, here's my Kindle. I have been loving it a lot, but am I disappointed I don't have the green one? <sighs> a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, the sun is... <laughs> stop it you stop that right now i feel like i just went off on such a tangent but i forgot to say that instead of the stickers that all the kindle girlies are doing um i took them out i thought it looked too cluttered and instead i'm just trying to show you if i, I can just show you so i have a black kindle but who knew you can just make your own cases um this is a clear case uh, with my pop socket, but you can print any design and just put it into your case. There are people making money on like Etsy by just making Kindle case inserts. It's like 
make your own. So yeah, I just found this celestial pattern and I was like, yep, I'ma print that. You literally find the exact dimensions of your Kindle and print those dimensions. So easy. Yeah, it looks perfect. I just think they look so cool. Um, yeah, so much better for me. Ma I might put a sticker in at some point, but I'm happy with it as it is. Before I go, I am just going to open some mail that I got delivered today. Okay, we're in, we're in. This is from Bath and Body Works. I did go the other week with my friend Joel, but they had no seasonal stuff. And I was like, oh, this is disappointing. We are almost in October. But I did notice online, they had this shower gel. It's called Midnight Spell. And I was like, mm, magical. Yeah, I didn't know what it smelled like. So we're gonna do um, an exclusive sniff test. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, what is that? It says notes of mystic air, moonlit woods and crystal amber. That is divine. Um, that was a good choice considering I didn't know what, they didn't even describe the scent online. Parcel number two is not that thrilling I'm afraid. This is a fitted sheet for our bed, our king size bed. Did I get a king? Yes. But I got a deep fitted sheet. Who knew that fitted sheets had different, different depths and I didn't anyway. So the fitted sheet that we currently have on our new mattress keeps coming up because um, it's not deep enough. So I got a deep one and I'm hoping, in fact, it says 35 centimeters and I know that I needed 30 centimeters. So I think we're gonna be golden with that. The other thing that has arrived, which is massive, I'm not gonna open on camera with you guys because I have promised my other half that I'll open it with him later on tonight because we've been really looking forward to it. But I can tell you what it is, it is a, bottle green kind of velvet bed throw and it wasn't the cheapest it cost 100 pounds from next but it's going to be so beautiful i will show you in the future either in a future vlog or maybe on my instagram stories if you're not following me that is the place i am most active um and you can even join my broadcast channel over there which is called cherry's coven uh i think that's so cute that we can have our own little coven over there very very adorable um and i think the last thing that i want to talk to you about today is what's happening tomorrow tomorrow sunday october 1st at 6 p.m bst which is british summer time my candle's launching at last. 200 of these are gonna go on sale and each one of them will come with a signature candle card from myself. Uh, go check out my last vlog if you wanna see me signing those. But yes, I'm so excited. I feel like launch days come around really quickly and I'm so proud of this. I'm proud of the Upturn Cauldron team as well. I've really enjoyed working with them and I think we've created a product that is really special and that you're going to enjoy. It's a candle that I am obsessed with. <laughs> I cannot, I, I wish you could smell it. And I hope that everyone that wants to get their hands on one of these does get one. If not, I'm hoping <laughs> that if this is a success, that maybe we can curate more in the future, um, but we will see. But yes, just in advance of everyone that does buy one of these, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for simply watching these videos and liking them, commenting on them, supporting me when I come out with stuff like this. Like, it's so nice. I can't explain. I just wanted to say thank you. Um, I'm really proud of it. I hope you love it as much as I do. I can't wait to see people's pictures and unboxings. Um, oh, yeah, so the Enchanted Garden is gonna be 19 pounds 99. Uh, that doesn't include shipping. There is international shipping. Uh, what else do I need to tell you? Um, 6 p.m. <laughs> tomorrow, October 1st. I think that's everything. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments down below. But yeah, right, I think I'm gonna go soon. My my boy's gonna be home soon. Tonight I'm gonna watch, hopefully, The Great British Bake Off. We were meant to watch it last night, but my other half got home too late, so we ended up not watching it, but I am really excited to make it into our weekly routine every Tuesday to watch the Bake Off. 
It, ah, this time of year just makes me so happy. Autumn pumpkins, um, the crisp weather, getting cozy, hot chocolates, candles, bake off. Oh, it's just, it's just great, isn't it? Right, I'm gonna go, but thank you. Um, I appreciate you more than you know. See you soon, guys. Bye.